A rural mail carrier leaves the post office and drives 22 kilometers in a northerly direction. She then drives in a direction 60 degrees south of east for 47 kilometers. What is her displacement from the post office? Here the rural mail carrier is uh, moving in the north direction. I will write the directions here. Okay. So like this. This is north and this is east. And then uh, this is south. This is west. Okay. And then the lady is going in the northward direction for 22 kilometers. And afterwards, she takes a 60 degree turn and then moves 47 kilometers. We have to find out the resultant. So here is the diagram. Okay. Now what we have to do is we have to resolve the first one is so we have two types of two displacements. Displacement one towards north and displacement two towards the uh, northeast. Northeast, uh, southeast. Okay. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to find out uh, this resultant displacement. So what we do is we will resolve this one into components. Okay, that I will show you how to do it with the free body diagram. Okay, and now this is the this one, and then this is another line. Okay, and then now I will draw the line. This is the uh, one. Okay. And uh, what we do is we will resolve it into x component and y component. Okay. This is x component and then we will write the y component also. So this is the y component. Okay. Uh, so what we have to do, we have to resolve this one into D2 into components. This is the D2. This is D2x and this is D2y. Okay. Now D1 we know. D1 has only y direction. Okay. First I will try to explain the problem to you. Here we have D1 and then D is equal to D1x is equal to 0 and then D2x is equal to what is that? This is a 60 degrees. No. So this is adjacent side. Therefore, D2 cos 60 degrees. Okay. Now, D1y is equal to, what is the value? 22 kilometers. And then D2y is equal to, what is the D2y value? Downside. So negative 40. Okay, I will write like this. Minus D2. This is a opposite side. So D2 sine 60 degrees. Okay. Now let me write the values. Here D2 is 47. 47 times cos 60 is equal to minus, uh, this is no 23.5, 23.5 kilometers. And then this one is minus 47 times sine 60. This is equal to negative 40.7 kilometers. Okay. Now, resultant drx is equal to uh, d1x plus d2x. Okay. So d1x is equal to 0 and then d2x is equal to 23.5 kilometers. And then dry is equal to d1y plus d2y is equal to uh, 22 plus 
negative 40.7. So that is equal to negative 18.7 kilometers. Now, dr is equal to p r square root of uh, drx square plus dry square. So that is equal to square root of 23.5 square plus negative 18.7 square. Okay. So this gives a value of 30 kilometers. Now we have to find out angle. So tan theta is equal to uh, dr y over dr x. So that is equal to negative 18.7 divided by 23.5. That is equal to negative 0 0.796. Therefore, theta is equal to tan inverse negative 0 0.796. That is equal to negative 38.5 degrees. Okay. So, uh, that means it is going uh, south, uh, southeast. Am I right? So, 38.5 southeast. S E direction. So this uh, resultant value is 30 kilometers. Uh, 38.5 degrees southeast. You may be wondering why the negative sign. The negative sign is because it is below the horizon, below the x-axis now. That is why it is negative, 38.5 degrees. Otherwise, if you take the angle from, uh, suppose if this is the case, if you take the angle from this end to this end, and then this is your line, then it will be positive, okay? But we are taking the other angle, this angle, which is below the horizon, it will be negative 38.5 degrees. So it is going south of east, southeasterly direction, okay? Thank you, bye-bye.